We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. I don't know how they did it, but they got it done. WNBA star Brittany Griner in Russian custody for months after being arrested and charged of drug possession upon landing in the country has been released in a prisoner swap. In return for Brittany's release, the U.S. is handing over convicted arms dealer Victor Boot. Uh, Griner was sentenced to nine years of serving in a Russian prison colony. I was, I mean, considering how dicey things are with the whole Ukraine situation right now, and obviously the United States is kind of like a proxy in this whole deal. Surprise, I got it done. Well, yeah, I mean, when when we gave them the Merchant of Death, that is his nickname. Um, <laughs> but I have guess... you seen Brittany Dream Threes? <laughs> I mean, that's equally as deadly. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm well, glad she's back. That's very, very good. When uh, actually Thump came in today, and it was right when right when it happened, our, our buddy down the uh, the hall said it in the hallway, and I was stunned. So very, very good. That's going to be a nice little Christmas gift to her and her family. At long last, the Las Vegas legend going to get the honor. It's arguably 30 years late. Liberace finally getting a street named after him. The Clark County Commission voted unanimously to bestow the honor upon him. The performer known as Mr. Showmanship performed in Las Vegas as early as the 40s. Called Las Vegas his home for many, many years. The highest paid performer in entertainment for many, many years. It's going to be that road just north of Las Vegas Country Club, Karen Ave between Joe Brown Drive and Maryland Parkway. That'll be renamed to Liberace Way. Congratulations Very to cool. him. Uh, a mountain lion on the prowl in the northwest. Uh, nearly ate, um, I don't know, something that's near and dear to your heart. You're a northwesterner. Mm -hmm. Was near? Was this near you? I don't think so, no. Not, oh, okay. not too close. Well, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, this uh, mountain lion was uh, walking down the streets, gave neighbors a little bit of a scare. Department of Wildlife tranquilized and captured the 60-pound cat while they announced yesterday they had to euthanize the mountain lion. They said the lion was uh, way, way too comfortable in the neighborhood and it was a necessary <laughs> precaution. I mean, couldn't you just take the mountain lion and just go deep into the woods? Yeah, and just let him go? You know. Yeah. Now, if you find your way back then sure right you know or it's yours <laughs> it's not the way it works yeah. if you let it go and it comes back right. it could just be a part of the neighborhood <laughs> i don't know it's kind of that kind of stinks it's yeah. like you know that mountain lion probably that you know grandfather that mountain lion probably played in that area and now it's you know now it's houses now it's houses yeah uh, the Mirage is going to be taken over by Hard Rock International by the end of the year. New renderings presented to the Gaming Control Board yesterday show what the new property will look like. The existing Mirage will see a color shift from gold to bluish U. The Guitar Hotel will go in place of the existing Volcano. It's going to add 600 more hotel rooms. Slot machines will double. Table games will quadruple. And employees are expected uh, are told to expect either similar or generous, more generous benefits than they're already receiving. We have the whole story on our website at 1027 VGS. Dot com. Meanwhile, Venetian handed some uh, of their, actually all of their full and flex time employees a $1,500 bonus at an appreciation event earlier wow. this week. All told, it was $11 million. Uh, here, I think we're going to get expired gift cards. Yeah. Uh, UNLV running Rebels remain undefeated 9-0, and beating Hawaii yesterday at the DLC 77-62. They face Washington State on Saturday, and the Golden Knights let four slip past them in the third last night. Gerard Gallant and his New York Rangers took the dub 5-1, and the Knights going to be facing the Flyers tomorrow night at the Fortress.